You are welcome to another edition of Campus State Based on Interco Africa. My name is Yao P. Yao, and today I'm bringing you a whole new story. You know, this is a, a world competition where a Ghanaian school won. So, out of all the senior high schools, you know, the second cycle schools in the world, it was a Ghanaian school that won this competition. And I need not say, wait for the aura around it to die before I bring it to you. We need to celebrate this as a uh, Ghanaians, you know, we need to celebrate this as a country that is actually growing and picking it fast on the world of robotics. And since I've mentioned robotics, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the World Robotics Competition, you know, the 2024 edition, which was uh, held in Michigan in the United States of America, where Premper College went to win the Unknown Mission Challenge and where the second in the overall competition so it's a plus for ghana you know it is a happy mood for ghana and the celebration moves on Ntako africa connecting schools so the world robotic olympiad you know is created to give youngsters the platform to also showcase what they can do in terms of robots you know uh, Premper college won the unknown mission challenge and were also second in the overall competition and uh so we need to celebrate Premper college in grand style because it is not easy to you know move from this part of the world where you face a lot of challenges even in uh, bringing together your equipment before you put together these things. So if a school in an African country has gone that far to win the international award, then we definitely need to celebrate Prempe College. You know, they have done so well and uh, I'm happy for them. Before I go to the tidbits of the event, let me tell you that you have still not subscribed to our YouTube page and that is in Taco Africa. We plead on you to help us grow, you know, so just go on to YouTube, type uh, in Taco Africa, it's one word, and you will see our page, you know, you click on the button, you subscribe, and then we shall be happy. Taco Africa, connecting schools. Well, so the World Robotics Competition has two categories, you know. They have the Unknown Mission Challenge as well as the Game Challenge. Uh, category or the game category. Uh, the first one, which is the unknown mission challenge, is where the teams are given instant tasks to perform, you know. So you don't really know what task they are going to give you. You get to the venue, then they assemble all of you and they give you an instant task to perform. And they give you two hours to perform the task. And that is the competition that Premper College won. You know, so going into the competition, you are not privy to any information of what task is going to be given to you, whether it's going to be whatever you don't know. You just enter the hall, they bring you together and tell you this is your task. And we're giving you 120 minutes. That is two hours to perform this task, you know. And Premper College within two hours was the overall best school in the whole wide world. So you need to build a robot and then you program it in the unknown mission challenge. Then you come to the game category, which is actually, you know, a task given to the teams a month prior to the competition, you know. So you will be given the tasks in your individual schools, in your individual countries, way before the main dates for the competition. So you prepare the task ahead of the main competition, then you present it. And this year's uh, task for the game category was to build a robot that will identify pedestrians and send them to a particular sport. So, you know, it's you be in your country, then they send you this task to build a robot that identifies, you know, pedestrians and send them to a particular sport. It simply means that when there's an emergency or a critical issue that pedestrians need to be, you know, picked from particular sports and then put at a certain sport, then there should be a robot for that, and that is this. So the videos showing is when the robots were activated. You see how Perpetually uh, robot is, you know, meandering its way to find victims and pedestrians, you know. That is how it was. This is not the first time Premier College has won the Unknown Mission Challenge, you know. They have won it four times on the international platform, so they really understand 
this competition very well and they know the nooks and crannies of it, where to enter and where to leave and how to win it. Bear in mind, it is not only Pempe College that uh, attended the Olympiad from Ghana. You know, there were three other uh, schools that joined Pempe College to the program and they all performed well. Apam Senior High School was part of the team, Right to Dream Academy and Microbot Academy. So these were the three schools that joined Pempe College to attend the competition, you know, from Ghana. Another nice thing that happened was that for the first time too, there was an African representative in the panel of judges who it was also from Ghana. So this year, I think the World Robotics was actually uh, for Ghana, you know, Ghanaian schools did well. And uh, there was for the first time, a Ghanaian judge among the panel of judges on the World Robotic Olympiads, which was held in Michigan. And the Ghanaian judge is Ed Giver up here, you know. She is a 15-year-old, you know, a legacy girls uh, student, uh, which is located in Akuse, you know, in the eastern region. So that was how it happened, you know, a 15-year-old Ghanaian, you know, at Giva Pia, a student of Legacy Girls in Akuse in the eastern region of Ghana, was selected as part of the panel of judges for the 2024 World Robotic Olympiad. And you see, when you see things like this, you become happy that not only did Ghanaian schools, you know, attend the competition, but there was also a Ghanaian judge. So Ed Giver uh, up here, we celebrate you too alongside Prempe College for being the first, you know, African, not only Ghanaian, the first African judge. Let me give you another fact about this program. So a table has been prepared, you know, to show you the number of times Prempe College has won the robotics competition, you know, in local and then international competitions. And you can see that they have a lot of trophies to show the world when it comes to robotics. And another most important information I need to give is that the Michigan State University, you know, one of the biggest universities in the United States, uh, has given priority to Prempe College products, you know, when they are doing their international picking when it comes to admissions into the school because of how Prempe College has been dominating the competition of late and how they also won the unknown mission you know they put you to task and you delivered so hey i know for sure parents will be rushing to push their kids into Premier college after their bc and then to also go into science and robotics so that after school they can have more than equal opportunity to enter michigan state university so the party lingers on if Ntako Africa, connecting schools. So that is that. I brought you a short story of how Prempe College won the unknown mission challenge in the 2024 World Robotics Olympiads, you know, and uh, we are happy as a people and uh, we celebrate in Prempe College today. Uh, we also celebrate in Apam Senior High School, Right to Dream Academy. Microbot Academy and Ed Giver appear from Legacy Girls, who was a judge in that same competition. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. But as I always tell you, you need to take good care of yourselves and pray that nothing bigger than your finances and your health and your capacity would happen to you to disgrace you, you know. Uh, always pray that God should protect you, uh, make you stronger, healthier and uh, make you also live long to see how things will be for you in the future. Until I meet you again, it's my spa. Ntako Africa, connecting schools.